I know this witch at St. Thomas the Apostle Catholic Church, Mrs. Locks, I think her name is, those Lukes. She is a Catholic witch, and she's trying to convert the whole entire parish to Freemasonry. She's trying to tell you what your special gifting is in a special series. And I would say just to back away or run away from this lady because she took down Sally. She was jealous of Sally. She took her down and put her own relative, who's a uh, control freak, a communist, a Satanist, and uh, who doesn't even reply when I try to write just trying to do s simple things in the church with music. Uh, you don't even hear back, uh, not even from the deacon, and they've been just con totally controlled by this Freemasonry, and it seems like it happened overnight, but it really has been going on in St. Thomas the Apostle Catholic Church for decades, and just walking in there, and you could smell the perfume and the plastic people with their, uh, you know, chest jobs, literally, and... Uh, the big smile on the priest that has almost like diamonds of cash in between his teeth. And you think, well, what is going on in this church? Why can't it just be simple? I mean, after all, we do live in Idaho. Why am I cast out? Why am I just in my house? But like I said in the previous video, we know this is going to happen, folks. There's gays in the church. And, um, you know, I was looking at my, one of my... Uh, you know, one of the in one of the churches that I'm um, continually reprimanding, they have listed on their site these uh, apostate childs. Uh, you know, I can't mention it here. I'm sure YouTube will take it down. But uh, these things are going on in the church, and we know they are. But if we stand there and play dumb, nothing's going to happen. I know Saint Joan of Arc is fascist. And the priests can't um, be running around enough with the dollar signs in their pockets all under the guise of traditional Catholicism. And they're taking down so many people with them. That's the sick part about it. So I would recommend never to go back to St. Joan of Arc Catholic Church and to run to the hills, literally. May the hills fall on us with Father Tara and this uh, quaint little church in the hills where they actually love God. And uh, they have the nuns with them as well. So uh, anyone who loves their children, I know there's pe there's mothers that feel torn because they want their sons to be altar servers. And so they keep going back to St. Joan of Arc. For those women, I would say, do you want your men to serve Satanists or to serve God? I mean, this is the final hour. I would pull my sons out of those altar server positions. They can only work for Father Tara and that's it.